What's going on YouTube? Sean here and welcome back to another Godzilla related news video, Kong related news video, DC Comics news related video. That's right. The greatest thing that DC has done in the last couple of years, one of the greatest crossovers of all time is finally happening. That's right. You saw this right. I nearly crapped my pants when I saw this news yesterday. I did do a community post because it wasn't officially announced yet, and I know they were flagging different tweets and all that, so I just did a quick community post. But now that it's officially announced, Legendary tweeted this, DC, Toho, Godzilla, this is real. This is 100% legit happening. And I can't believe it, but this is the cool shit I've been talking about. Like, this is the stuff that makes comics amazing. Like, this right here is some really awesome stuff. Like, to me, this is exactly the stuff we need. This is the type of crazy crossover content I crave. This is the stuff comics were made to do. And that's right. You saw that title. DC and Legendary reveal Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong. That's right. Literally, my entire channel is <laughs> I cover Godzilla comic books. I covered a ton of DC comic books. And now they're coming together in the ultimate crossover. Like this is like this has a this is the happiest I've been about any sort of comic related announcement in the past couple of years. Like this has just got me smiling the entire time. This is gonna be a blast. It's the legendary versions of these characters. I guess it's kind of more of an uh, a what-if scenario of the Legendary. I, I don't know exactly. Does it officially fit into canon? Or is it kind of like an alternate universe canon? Or is it potential down the road, if you will? Because it says the Legendary versions of these characters. It's tweeted by Legendary and that. So, who knows? Maybe time will be forgotten or something. But, yes, the the possibility is now there for these characters to cross over in live action at some point. I mean, if this does really well, who knows? Maybe we could see an animated adaptation. And, finally, that Godzilla vs. Batman movie they almost made many, many years ago um, is almost becoming reality in a sense. And, plus, Kong. Kong gets to interact, too. This is so cool. So, Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong. Like, I, I can't believe this is a real thing. Like, this is going to be a seven-issue series. Let's go ahead and read this article from IGN. I'll leave a link in the description below for you all to check it out in this glorious, glorious, glorious announcement. Once King Kong and Godzilla square off, it's hard to go much bigger. But what if you throw in the Justice League for good measure? That's the premise fueling Justice League versus Godzilla versus Kong, a new crossover comic from DC and Legendary Entertainment. The series was revealed at San Diego Comic-Con, produced in partnership with Toho International. Just League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong is a seven-issue crossover that sees the barriers between worlds break down and the creatures of the MonsterVerse spill over into the DC Universe. That's right, these are the MonsterVerse versions of these characters. Uh, the creative team on Just League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong includes writer Brian uh, Bucheldo and artist Christian Dunst and Luis Guerrero. Good creative team. Cover artists include Drew Johnson, Jim Lee, and Scott Williams, Rafael Albuquerque, Francesco Madina, and Dan Wara and Alan Qua. Dan Wara, like I said, I, I'm loving World's Finest with him. Uh, this is this is fantastic. According to DC, the series begins with a seemingly ordinary battle between the Justice League and the Legion of Doom. However, that battle opens a doorway to the MonsterVerse, causing Godzilla Kong and other monsters. Ooh, other monsters. Could we see Ghidorah? Could we see Mothra? Could we see Mechagodzilla? Could we just see everyone in this thing? Oh, man, I'm just, I just have a big smile on my face just thinking about the endless possibilities. Um, spill over into the DC Universe. We'll soon find out if Batman carries any anti-kaiju spray on his utility belt. As a comics fan, there's nothing more fun and exciting than exploring those amazing what-if situations that come up when fandoms cross streams, said DC President, Publisher, and Chief Creative Officer Jim Lee in a statement. In this case, it's a matchup of the world's greatest superheroes in the Justice League who takes on not only the King of the Monsters, Godzilla, but the mighty Kong himself. It's a crossover, no-holds-barred battle, decades in the making and no bona fide comic book fan is going to want to miss it i've had the good fortune to write most of the legendary dc superheroes before my time from my time on the flash detective comics and injustice added uh Buccellato. um this time i get to build something way larger than life using all the toys in two different sandboxes it's such a thrill to tear open both the dc universe and legendary's monsterverse for this dream project Justice League vs. Godzilla vs. Kong, issue number one, will be released in October 2023. I am officially 100% confirming I am covering this thing. I'm buying this book in physical, like, trade paperback. Any variant cover I can get my hands on, I'm going to own it. Because, like I said, this is the shit that I want to see. This is the cool stuff that you can do in comics that you can't necessarily do in live action. I mean, at this point, they probably could do this in live action, but this is the stuff I want to see. Um, let's go ahead and look at some of these glorious images right there. So you have Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Flash, Hawkgirl, Supergirl, Cyborg, Kong over here, Godzilla right here. And, of course, these are in the legendary designs, which I think is really cool. 
And look at this image right here. You have Kong right there. Oh, he's got the battle axe from Godzilla vs. Kong. I guess this, in a continuity sense, probably takes place after Godzilla vs. Kong or maybe after Godzilla x Kong, the new empire. I'm just thinking hypothetically. Um, Batman's got his stuff here. You got looks like Jessica Cruz, Green Lantern, Hawkgirl. I wonder if any other Bat family members are going to show up in this thing. But look at this stuff. Look at this right here. Look at that image of Godzilla. He's ferocious. He's mean. He's angry. Oh, this is so awesome. This is the stuff I want to see. And, of course, you got some preview images. Oh, there's Clark and Lois. They're having a nice little dinner date. No, well, bam, there's Godzilla. Look at him. Look at him mean mugging coming through here. And, of course, you got some scroll crawlers. Um, looks like you have Gorilla Grodd right there. And a few other people. Captain Cold. Uh, Kong is here. Like, I think this is Titano right here or something. There's just so many endless possibilities. I have no idea how this is all going to turn out. But you know what? I don't care. Like, this is going to be, like, some really awesome stuff. Because, I mean, I'm sure they came up with a pretty interesting concept. And you know what? This is the type of fun stuff that I think comic books need to be doing more of. Last year, I got to see Godzilla crossover with Power Rangers, two of my favorite uh, IPs growing up. Hell, I've dressed up as the Green Ranger. And even then, little, like, scenes filming in that costume. And, of course, I really love Godzilla, which I still need to cover that <laughs> that series on my channel. I did try to do it, but for whatever reason, like, those videos couldn't, like, there was issues with posting them. Maybe it has to do with whenever you have to talk about Power Rangers, uh, whoever holds the rights just kind of, like, locks on those videos or something. But, um, yeah, so this is a dream come true for me. Uh, I, I don't know what other surprises we'll necessarily have in this thing, but you know what? I'm cool with just being surprised. Like, this is the comic of the month for me. This is the comic for the next several months when it starts dropping in October. And then if it's going to be seven issues, so if we look at the dates, so October – uh november december january february march which is when the new empire comes out that's six months and then it closes out in april so pretty much april is like i mean like middle or end of march is when godzilla x kong the new empire is supposed to come out anyways we were supposed to get a first look at the movie uh with legendary announcing it at comic-con uh this but with the the strike going on who knows what's going to happen with that who knows what's going to happen with dune and all these other films but all I can say this for sure is that Godzilla and Kong are crossing over with the Justice League. I never knew, thought this would officially happen. Like, finding out this news completely out of nowhere just blindsided me. And you know what? I'm all for it. Like, this just leaves a big, gooey smile on my face. And it's nice for once to just be excited about something. I, there's no ounce of cynical nature in my thinking at all. This is purely just fanboy excitement and it feels great like this feels great to talk about this is the type of stuff i think we need more of in comic books like dc i can be hard on them sometimes i can praise them at times but there's times like this where them teaming up with legendary and doing this comic book crossover is uh it's fantastic like this is again the stuff i want to see and i don't know if there's any other comic book tie-ins coming out for uh the new empire but i think this is probably the only one but I mean, how can you get bigger than this? I mean, also, kudos to Godzilla, man. He's fought the Avengers, and now he's fighting the Justice League years later. Like, good for him. And Kong, I'm curious to see how Kong's going to factor into this plot. Are they going to get controlled by Grodd? Is, is, like, what are the endless possibilities? What other monsters are coming over? We have some Skullcrawler confirmations. Can we get Rodan Mothra in that in here, too? Are Godzilla and Kong going to be fighting again? Are they going to be enemies? Are they going to be bros at this point? I don't know. Like, there's so many endless possibilities with it. I imagine Kong having his moments with maybe, like, Wonder Woman or something like that. But it uh, depends on what other monsters come in here. Also, uh, Batman, I saw, like, uh, I think I saw, like, a cover where he was in a giant mech. So is he going to get in a giant mech and start fighting Godzilla? That sounds pretty cool to me. Um, also, if other Bat family members are there, I'm pretty certain Damien would want to adopt Godzilla or something because he loves animals. You got to, if he's, please have him in there. Like, I, I just need a little cameo of, like, two of some of my favorite characters just interacting. Just, just one little panel that's all i'm asking for in this crosshair i know it's a lot it's seven issues but if you got batman there you gotta have the bat family make a cameo just to like have them share the screen if you will with godzilla so I, like like i said I'm a, I'm a big it's got, just got a big goofy smile on my face right now like this is the awesome stuff i want to see i mean hell captain cold is in here captain cold is in there like let the, some of the other bat family members just just have the one interaction with them that's our, like at least comment on them or share a panel or something like to me like it's just yes oh this is this is so cool. This is this is one of the greatest things uh, in the history of comic books. Um, I have no complaints about it, uh, except that I gotta wait a few months for it to come out. But like I said, we're spoiled as Godzilla fans right now. We've got plenty of comic book stuff. We have the live action series, which 
I guess they're supposedly releasing it in September, but I haven't seen or really heard much about it, uh, per even per KDM. Um, shout out to you, KDM. KDM knows like pretty much everything there is to know about this stuff. Uh, I've been hearing September is when the series is supposed to drop, but there's no official anything. It all depends on how the strike goes. Like if the studios just come in and just like, all right, here, we'll settle this deal right then and then, then we can get back to business. But it's kind of in that weird phase right now where we're just kind of waiting on things and productions are shut down and everything. But, you know, it is, it's a strange time, but yeah, so... Anyways, uh, what do you all think of this crossover idea? Are you excited like I am? Are you jumping up and down for joy? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content, hit the bell for notifications, all that other fun stuff. I think I'm going to do one other video on another Kong-related thing that got uh, announced uh, yesterday, or, or today, was it? Yeah, something like that. And uh, we'll talk about that one in a second. It's a new Kong video game that I want to kind of do a quick little video on because, well... Like I said, I love Godzilla, I love Kong and all that, and I just kind of want to talk about it. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll discuss that one too. So, all right, well, that's all I have to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.